I feel a very um, important role of this bond is to address that issue, and especially here at Emerson, as we are um, a, a, a building that you know is very open and caring, and we want visitors into the building. However, when it does come to the safety of the building, we are very tight, um, and we do our due diligence. Our number one rule is be safe. So when we are safe at school, we talk about the safety of in the building as well as the safety of outside of the building. As you can see, visitors come right through the door and then um, they walk straight into the office. However, there is access um, for them to get into the building and into the areas where classrooms are before coming into the office. Here at Emerson, when you come into the building, you walk into a small area, um, which is much like a vestibule, but still it is a very small area that when you're buzzed in, the se secretary has an obstructed view. So there is a, a moment of moving the desk back and forth or moving herself back and forth. The bond issue address that would alleviate that issue. And we would then be able to look similar to Lost Creek or the middle school or the high school where this visitor is not allowed into the building until they're seen, they're heard, and they know um, they come through the office and check in with the office first before being giving access to the students. That is just another step in the right direction that we all have that equitable safety um, barriers. But when it comes to equity across the district, Emerson has one space for lunch and PE, whereas other buildings ha could have two spaces as that population grows. Our students need more space in that area for lunch and for PE. It gets really difficult to get 200 plus students through the line and have time in between to prep or to adjust um, depending upon the needs of the students. It's tricky and to, to get students through in an efficient uh, way is very challenging. And sometimes if you're one of the last students, you know, a couple of the last students in line, not that you can't finish your lunch. However, it gets to the point where it's, a, it's, it's quick, it's quicker and you could miss out on some of those minutes just for the mere fact of how, how we transition between each class. So having the bond issue would be huge. It would allow for two spaces um, for students to have pee and also a dining room. That dining room would allow lunch to take place and we would also gain those minutes back in instruction. The misconception that pee is not required, it is required. It is is very important for the growth of students and we want to make sure we keep that space sacred and that we also have a dining hall so that students are able to eat and um, use that space while PE is happening because PE and lunch cannot happen at the same time at Emerson.